so I've seen it so many times, but the first time I saw it, this is going to, with the Universal logo at the beginning. I was, yeah, I forgot to mention that. That hit me. Cool. Because that's not, it wasn't like eight production companies that came together to like cobble together $1.3 million. Like Universal. Stepped up. And I mean, look, this is not a big budget film, but that was like. They put their name on it. They did. And Netflix, when I found out, because I was like calling my producer every day i'm like who bought it because it was an acquisition it's not a netflix original whoa and i was like who bought it and it was months and i'm just like on them i'm like where's and i'm just where'd you want to go i wanted to go to netflix and i you never get the thing you want you always get like so netflix is doing an incubator program it's (sighs) only on bus seats and he called and he was like it's netflix and i i firmly believe in this career you get only a couple of like Yes, thousand percent releases. You yep. only and every time you think you're gonna get one, it's like, yeah, you know what? They're pushing your audition. You had it, but they closed. You get so few like guttural like fuck. Where like it's locked. Those. Yeah. And I lost my mind. Good. Because even if nobody watches it, a million people still see it. <laughs> that's fucking. That's Netflix. Yeah. Even if nobody sees it, a million people still, yeah. Well, that's not true, as I found with my sketch show, or only a couple hundred thousand see it, and you don't get a season two. <laughs> well, hilarious, but but well, hey, all right, that's okay. Yeah, you have we a get movie a now. Right back. Yeah. Um, but having all those specials up there has to help with just the algorithm of keeping. You. Also, these types of movies. Yeah. Um, you consider it a rom com? It's a rom con. That's the thing that what they came that? up with. It. It's a romantic con. Like you get conned in it. Cool. Like if Townsend Mr. Ripley had like more love scenes. Totally. So it's a rom con and we had a call with them. We were talking about they were showing the algorithm and who gets like who would be shown this and how you end up tapping into groups that you didn't know you would. You like, did test groups. No, no, oh. no. Like whatever you like. Oh, yeah, yeah. It could end up. It's not just for like, oh, romantic comedy. It also goes into like thriller. It also goes into all these other like branched out groups that you can't even conceive of until the movie drops. Gotcha. And it could be like all these different uh, like subsects of categories. So it ticks a lot of boxes. Um, the twists were awesome. Didn't expect them. And that's Thank what you. truly I dug. But what I dug right out of the gate, and I was uh, texting you this, was... You know, anything based in the stand-up world, yeah. being biased, already just uh, highly intrigued. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what'd you say? Hate? Oh, no. I'm like, no. this is trash. <laughs> no, love. And it looks beautiful. And it was, you know, I think you shot everything at the store, right? Stand-up-wise? All the stand-up was at the store in yeah. the belly room. It looked amazing. Thank you. Like, special worthy. That is, Kimmy Gatewood made it look nice. We made it look expensive. Crush it, Kimmy. Yeah. Um, but so that immediately, I'm like, okay, cool. But it was the perfect amount. You know what I'm Thank saying? You. It wasn't like... Like the scenes outside of the club, in the club, the hallway. It was just like that was a backdrop that was um, properly served and utilized. Thank you. And then right out of the gate, it's I think you have in anything, especially nowadays with just attention span being what it is, um, a, uh, a short amount of time to like pull people in. 100%. And, you know, me being, uh, I think, and you're probably the same way after you've acted a bit, you're definitely more critical of just performances in general. You know, you, but for also, I haven't, I don't think I've seen you on a show, but like yeah. with this type of magnitude, bigger. Definitely. But I had no judgments. I had no like nerves. It just started, I was like ready to enjoy. And right out of the gate, I was like, oh, you've got um, Catherine Heigl, Kate Hudson, Schumer vibes, where I'm like, Thank you. Um, holding just, you're carrying the whole film. I hope I have a line of athletic wear that I can hilarious make so much money off. Who has of the athletic wear? Kate Hudson. Wow. <laughs> I'm still laughing at how fun that was. Uh, hey guys, Adam Ray here for the About Last Night podcast. Hope you enjoyed that little ALN highlight, that little freebie tidbit. If you want to see more highlights, clips, animations, and episodes, click right there, huh? Click right there and get all the free ALN goodies your heart can muster. And of course, subscribe to the show by clicking the ALN logo right there, huh? Do that. It's easy. See you next time. Peace.